Well, good afternoon, everyone. Meg, Meg's little house in the country here. Um, we got a little break in the weather. It's been pretty cloudy all day today. It's Saturday, day before Easter. Um, yeah, but we got a little break, some sunshine. I thought, hey, I still need to make a video. I haven't made a video at all this week. I'm so sorry. Uh, it's just been crazy busy at work, but, uh, yeah, I've got my strawberries out here. They're up against the house. This is a very protected area. I'm keeping them watered. They're actually doing pretty good out here, even with some of the cold nights we've been having. I haven't covered them at, up at all, so, and uh, they're still doing okay. I do need to get the dead stuff cleaned out of the boxes, out of the pots, and yeah. And I finally got some soil in these pots and I got to get these bare root uh, roses in I really hope they do they're a hybrid tea rose and it's called paradise it's almost like a lavender rose we'll see how it does uh, yeah that's my neighbor's car um, he came over and replaced this morning and replaced a headlight bulb in my truck because one of my headlights was out and uh, he locked his keys in his car but then he had to run up to Idaho Falls so his wife came and got him and they zipped up to Idaho Falls and he'll get his pick up his car when he gets back but let's take a little walk around the property as you see everything is greening up the grain I think it's winter wheat it got planted out here it's really getting green out here I mean just look at that that is gorgeous but raised beds still like look like well raised beds not much change here um, so yeah my chives oh the rhubarb yep look at the rhubarb it's coming up isn't it doing great Rhubarb is doing great. My chives are multiplying. Ooh, I'm gonna pick one. Mmm, that tastes so good. My little tree here is almost ready for me to pull it out. It's actually mulched. It's in a pot, so it's actually easy to pull out. All I have to do is, yeah, just go like this. And, uh, pull it out oh god actually it might not be so easy to pull it out oh boy let's see if I can hold this tripod between my knees so I can use two hands and yank this sucker out of here okay yeah so I'm gonna take it over here put it back here with all the other plants I'm putting next to the house here because this will be a good place for it, back here. Uh, and I'll just sit it down here. Oh, boy. Uh, this is actually not a bad place to put a baby tree because, one, it's up against the house, protected, two, any water that drips off the eaves will, well, it'll water it, stay watered. Yeah, I got those. They are sprouting nicely. Ah, really good. I need to get them in the pots. And I hope we don't lose our daylight. Anyways, last weekend I had to run up to Idaho Falls, get gas. It's like 20 to 30 cents cheaper gas is up in Idaho Falls than down here in Blackfoot, so... I get my gas up there and while I was up there I went to Costco and while I was at Costco well I uh, gave in to temptation I bought two apricot trees and a cherry tree it's called a sweetheart cherry it's almost looks like a black cherry and the picture looks dark but they are just barely starting to bud out 
the dormant. I'm keeping them in the garage for right now. I'm going to get them into pots until it's warm enough to put them outside. I do want my nighttime temperatures to be consistently above 30. Not to mention the fact that I've got to find a place to plant them in my yard. I am not so sure where I'm going to plant them. We'll check on some of the other trees. Uh, the peach trees. Oh, they've got some nice fuzzy little blossoms, buds on them. They look like they're doing pretty good. I've got to get different posts. Um, yeah, I mean, look at the size. They really put on a lot of growth the last summer. I mean, the first two years I had them, they really struggled, and I had a hard time just keeping them alive. But this last year, last summer, they really put on a lot of growth. So this year, I think I will let them form fruit. You really don't want your fruit trees to start setting fruit until they are old enough and strong enough and mature enough. Because the first couple of years you get them, your young sapling fruit trees, you just want them to put on growth. You don't want them to strain themselves to put on fruit. All right, we got uh, my apple tree. Oh, yep, definitely got some buds on the, this old apple tree, and it's a really old. It's probably a, as old as this house. You know, my original house was built in 1940. The little wooden shed, which was originally a little barn, was probably built about the same time. Had a little homestead here. And, uh, yeah, and this, I think this apple tree was probably planted about that same time. But, yeah, as you notice, we got nice, nice fuzzy bud there. Yeah, we're going to have some nice apple blossoms here in another month or so. And as long as it warms up, it keeps getting cold. Today's might hit 50. And, as you notice, my Alberta peach... The other two peaches are veteran peaches. They're, they have frost resistant buds. This is an Alberta. Uh, really nice free stone that's quite quite popular. And then I got the two little honey crisp apple trees over here. We're going to take a little quick look at them. See how they're doing. Okay. Yeah, we're st we're, I think we're starting to get some buds there. Like I said, it keeps getting cold, and it warms up, the buds start swelling, and then it gets cold again, and everything comes to a halt. And ignore my dirty finger. That's what happens when you pull a potted tree out of your garden soil. But yeah, I think we're getting some buds there. And uh, yeah, this little honey crisp looks like it's budding out really good, too. And... Let's take a look at my Rainier cherry and see how it's doing. Oh yeah, you can see those. Look at that. It's really budding. Tons of buds. I'm probably going to have a lot of flowers on it this year. <sighs> Boy. Yep, I think we're going to get a good crop of cherries as long as... We don't get a freeze that freezes it after the it's bloomed. Because you don't want to freeze your baby fruit. But as long as nothing freezes, yeah, we're going to have, look at that. Oh, look at all those flower buds. And those are flower buds. Tons of flower buds all over the place. Ugh, jeez. Anyways, so this little tree is... From the other veteran peach I had here, the one that got banded by rodents, I need to lift that fence up and clean out from around the bottom of the trunk. But it's it's getting some buds on it, this little peach tree. And uh, I'm going to keep tying it to the old stem to help support it while it grows. And I'm not going to let it flower I'll just come and pick all the flower buds off so it doesn't need to set fruit. It just needs to get big. 
Yeah, if the rodents hadn't gotten a hold of this one the winter before last, um, this would have been my main tree and it would have been as big as the others by now. Oh. And this is a volunteer. And <laughs> it's it's coming up, it's doing good. It's probably the same thing as this. I forget what this is. I think it's a current of some type. I'm not sure. But it's a volunteer. I've really got to clean this mess up here really good this year. This used to be a really nice little garden area I had. Mostly flowers and stuff. For the last 10 years, I really haven't done much. And then when I got my roof um, redone in 2019 after windstorm ripped off a lot of shingles, um, they ran a, uh, a tractor or I think it was a forklift or something through here and it just all the all the framework you can see the old the old frames for the they just got busted up real bad my dad built them and so I was not very happy because this is something my dad built me and he passed away in 2003 so there's no redoing it so I'll have to redo it myself also my Russian olive that up and died for some reason. I don't know why. You know, this is a flower bed. Flower beds get watered. It get lots of water. and But for some reason, it got something, some kind of bugs in it. And it died. And we had to cut it all down. And last year, it put up, well, it put up several starts. And I'm not going to do like I did with my willow and forget to trim them back. So I'm going to pick one trim the rest back and let the one grow. Maybe I'll get a nice pretty tree with silvery leaves back again. So everything seems to be doing well. My Nanking cherry is got lots of buds on it. We're gonna have lots of cherries again this year I think. Um, I got this little tiny Canadian evergreen that I planted in my uh, flower bed here. I don't know that it's ever going to get very big, but it survived the winter, and it's it seems to be much happier out here than it was as a potted plant in the house. And I've got to dig up sweet williams. I got sweet williams all over in my lawn now. Need to dig them up. Oh god, there's some there. There's some there. There's some there. There's a whole big patch of them taking over the lawn there. Oh. Oh god, there's some over here too. They're all over the place. My Colorado spruce looks like it weathered the winter pretty well. I think I'm getting some kind of bud activity there. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna we're supposed to get rain all day tomorrow, so it should get well watered. I'm hoping so because I'm not quite yet ready to drag out hoses and start watering everything. I don't I still don't know what I'm gonna do about this. It I literally had four very tall saplings. And uh, we had a late frost in April killed off the tops of all my birch saplings. I was going to pick one to be my tree and trim out the others and it literally just killed all the tops off. So now I've got a gray birch shrub. That's all I can think. I got a gray birch shrub. I really need to trim everything back. Maybe find something here there there's got to be something here that'll make a good tree I have been trying to grow the original sapling tree I had here died back all the way to the roots and these uh, the four white trunks you should see they came back up from the root and they were getting really tall and well-grown 
when that we got that mid-April freeze. And they were literally had budded out and had the little pussy willows on them and everything. And then it the freeze hit and it just killed killed them all back. You see how short I had to chop them because the whole top parts were completely dead. I think it dropped down to 24 degrees that night. Ugh. Still got to get out here and get all the broken branches out of this lilac and maybe get some of the old wood cut. I'm going to have to talk to one of my neighbors, see if they can bring a chainsaw over here and trim out some of the old old stuff and uh, trim it up so that I can walk under it while mowing. That would be nice. But I gotta clean this up and get this all cleaned up from the March 1st storm, which busted things. Um, now that the uh, snow has melted and the clay is dried out, I gotta get my rake out here and start raking all this rocks and clay out of here and kind of pull it back towards where it got shoveled from. I still got to get people to come out here and dig out all this clay out of my, yeah, out of my driveway. Get it back down to the original bed and uh, then start over again. Oh, I do have uh, all this, boy, I had this raked up so smooth last fall before winter, and yep, all the snow that got pushed over here. This has got to be filled in, got really deep, and people have been driving over it. I'm going to get lawn growing here as long as people are driving over it, but yeah. So, that's what we're going to do. Let's go look in the back, see how things are going in the back. <sighs> Clay's drying out here so I can walk on it without getting stuck. I did unjam this. It won't close all the way now, but it's not jammed up anymore. I still got to get this all dug back out and moved so that it's uh, in the right position. It just settled wrong. And this post also needs to be straightened up. And, uh, yeah, a lot needs to be done. But, we've got a few low spots down here now. This area, when the snow was melting, literally turned into a lake. Because that, everything where it's dark there, all that dark area is very low. And, things are starting to settle where the trenches were. I got a lot of getting things out here leveled and evened up so that I can come out here and mow. But let's see how my little trees survived the winter. Well, <sighs> looks like this one's got buds. We've got buds on this little tree. And we've got pocket gopher activity there and there. Yep, pocket gophers are Alive and well. They survived. I'm going to have to get out here. Oh, look at this. Got lots of buds on this one. And lots of raking for me to do. Yeah, lots of pocket gopher activity. Let's see if this little survived. I don't know. It was really struggling. No, I don't think it survived at all. I think I'll be planting my maple tree out here. As you can see, that trunk has been 
just chewed up. Oh, yeah. The, the trunk has been completely chewed. The top is dead. It looks... I think it's... I think it's dead. I think that thing got eaten by the rodents. But I need to get my rake and come out here and rake and shovel and move dirt. Maybe move some of this dirt over into there. That all needs to be evened up. Kind of put some green panels over that broken window in my garage. Hopefully that will keep the birds out until I can get something out. A new. I need to get a new window in it, really. That's all I need is just a new window. But yeah, still got a lot to do. Get this leveled out. Get the uh, come and clean up after the pocket gophers. And I think where that little tree was, I'll plant that little, I think it's a maple, the one I got in a pot. But I got to get all this done so I can start growing grass back here again. Ugh. Chunk of cement. Yep. Huh. Get this cleaned up. Got to get all the uh, sunflowers stalks cleaned up and out and onto my little hallway burn pile. We're getting things done here. Huh. Uh, there's some animal digging there. I get cats back here too, and they go after the pocket gophers and the voles. Just feral cats that roam the area. Doesn't bother me as long as they keep the rodents under control. <sighs> Still need to get somebody to haul this old thing away. I would really like it out of my yard. Oh, I didn't realize I was still slightly zoomed in. And get this out of my yard. And I need this wood split and put into the shed. And I need this metal hauled away. But yeah, this is what's going on right now. It's springtime. And I need somebody with a chainsaw to come too long Letting this go, and uh, yeah, this is, I think some of those are, it's going to take a chainsaw to get through them, and get most of all of them out, except for one that will become my tree. I think we're past the point of yeah, I, was, I think I know which one will make the best tree. It's getting all the rest of them out so it can just take off and grow. <sighs> I don't need a big willow shrub. <laughs> Let's put it that way. It takes up too much of the footprint in my yard. I need it growing straight up, not straight out. So we'll see, have to see about that. But otherwise, I'm getting a lot of uh, seed pods from my wonderful honey locust tree here. And got a lot of raking to do. So anyways, how's your week been? <sighs> I haven't even looked to see if I can find it. Oh boy, you can really see that dip in the ground there. That's a that's a really sunken spot there. <sighs> Kick this rock back over to the driveway area. Don't need rocks in my lawn. My mom's for Cynthia is putting out tons of flower blossoms. I don't know if I'm gonna get that many on mine. I, this thing it just doesn't seem to bloom well and I don't know why I have done everything that has been advised to help your shrub bloom 
and bloom well and none of it seems to work. I just don't get that many flowers. My mother's is already almost ready to burst into tons of yellow blossoms all over. And I think I'll be lucky to get one yellow blossom. My lilacs are budding out nicely though. You can see they're getting lots of little green buds on them. I <sighs> uh, got some dead stuff in there I need to get out, but otherwise they're doing well. All the all my elms too seem to be recovered from having their roots dug at. Oh boy. Got a nice, yep, there's the storm front that's coming through. It's going to be coming up through here. But yeah, they're all budding out nicely. Look at that. Look at those buds. Those are great buds for trees that had parts of their root systems torn up to dig a trench. But yeah, we got uh, coming up over American Falls. Look at that. Got a nice little storm system there. Clouds are really dark. But, uh, it's a beautiful day today, though. It's a great day. Good time to sit and remember sacrifice made for us by our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ when he died for all our sins. And on the third day, he rose again, thereby conquering death and making it so that all mankind might be saved. Resurrection is talked about in the Bible. It's guaranteed. Everyone will be resurrected before the last judgment day. But, uh, yeah. And if it wasn't for that... Uh, there would have been no purpose or point in the creation of the earth. So everyone, I hope you have a blessed Easter. And I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful celebration with your families. Oh, look at that. It's just gorgeous out here. I'm going to walk along the outside of my fence. Uh, let's see if we can get a good view of the mountains on the east side. They're kind of hidden under the clouds. Uh, uh, look at, yeah, there, there we got the mountains. Look at that. Still capped in white and snow covered. More precipitation is falling on them in the form of snow, of course. Oh, the zoom on this camera is amazing. But yeah, beautiful mountains. The mountains are just gorgeous mountain ranges all the way down. Driving down to Pocatello, you'd be able to see those clearly. Then we turn, head off towards the south. Got the big hill there. Then way off that yonder, it's that other mountain range. That one's just to the south of American Falls. That mountain range is. Capped with white. And the storm clouds that are moving in. I can already feel the breezes starting to pick up now. Beautiful break in the weather we've had. 
tomorrow it's supposed to be raining all day <laughs> pretty much um, so I guess I will talk to y'all later <sighs> and uh, uh -huh. like I said have a blessed Easter and a blessed Sunday um, I hope y'all like this video and it's just a little quick tour of the garden and the yard and the property and all the things that need to be done and all the projects I got lined up for the yard got new trees to plant I got uh, ro roses to get out, you know, into their pots. I got uh, more bare root strawberries and I actually bought some bare root asparagus. I've just got to figure out when the heck am I going to put asparagus? I mean, this spot right here is once I get everything leveled back up is where I'm going to dig out and put in my uh, horseradish because I've got to move it away from my um, got to move the horseradish away from the driveway before I get the whole thing regraded and graveled or my horseradish will be gone. You know, and you know, they're going to widen it. Everything will get widened up a little bit. But yep, things to do, projects to get done, and uh... Yeah, that's what I got in here. And here I have, these are my more strawberry plants because I got those all those planters down there to fill. And then here, oh, look. I got my, look at that. That's my asparagus. If I get it in the ground, it's been, it's been nicely chilled back here and on the back porch. I turned my heater off, so it's just regular stuff. Other projects is I got all the lumber I need to build me a custom uh, bathroom vanity cabinet. Um, I got some little seedlings I started. Yeah, last month I went to my mom's church dinner and for our project we got little pots and we put seeds in them and mine are, mine are sprouting. I gotta turn them. Oh, that one, that one's a little wet. Let's see. I'll, I'll stick you in there. You can, don't want them too wet, but I'm really hoping the, uh, all the seeds sprout. It's, I can't even read what I wrote on here anymore. I wrote it in red marker. So I guess we'll see what uh, is actually growing when it uh, takes off and grows. Huh? I know I got tomatoes. I know I got at least one herb. <sighs> yeah. And there's all my grass seed that I need to get out in my yard when I finally uh, get things done. Got a ton of flooring here. If I can get any of my brothers who do know how to do flooring to come up and help me put the flooring. It's for this room here. Yeah, I've got a lot of stuff to move out of here. But I got flooring. Um, I got a little Christmas gift from White Rock Homestead and I used it when Walmart had was clearancing out this flooring to buy enough boxes of flooring to do this room. It's literally had nothing but particle board, subflooring in it. Well, since I've been here, and I've been here 27 years. Haven't been able to finish it, but I'm hoping to get it finished. Finally. Anyways, i got to get ready. I've still got some Easter gifts to get put together. Um... Yeah, I got things going there. Uh, all my flowers. 
Uh, my bouquet of flowers I bought for myself is kind of dying. It was an Easter bouquet they were selling. My hyacinths are now past bloom. I got these at Walmart. They were in peak of bloom, smelled gorgeous for a week. But now they're done blooming and I'm going to have to cut back the blossom ends. And as soon as the weather warms up a little bit more, my tulips are also done blooming. And I got an old pot of hyacinths there that I need to get out. I need to get these bulb plants outside. I really do. Oh, I just hate letting you guys go, but we're already 35 minutes into this and I need to get it posted. <sighs> so, um, yeah, once more, like, subscribe, share with your friends, all the other stuff. I'm well over 400 now subscribers and I am working on getting my first thousand subscribers this year. Um, so... All the help I've been getting has been nice. Anybody who just likes a little peek into my life and what I'm doing, this is what I'm doing today. I'm making plans for my yard work and I got little Easter gifts. I'm gonna show you some of these things. Not too worried about my mom seeing what hers are. This is what I got for my brother. He's kind of getting to where he no longer likes toys and candy and stuff. So I got him a little mini football. He loves football. Got him a little dinosaur plushie. I hope it hope he likes it. He loves these polo shirts. So I got him a red one. I know red's one of his colors. I also got him some snacks, his favorite chips, and a couple of uh, hydration drinks. And I'm gonna get his Easter basket made. Oh, there we go. See. Got him some drinks and chips. These are for some ladies in my church that I minister to. I've got uh, got their little Easter bags done. Their little Easter bags done just have some soaps. It's just basically like this. Um, little, a little soap and some scrubbies I made. So that's what they're getting. I've got to get those delivered too. And I guess I gotta run up to Home Depot today because I keep getting phone calls about paying on my card account. So, better do that. So they'll stop calling me. That is so annoying. Well, I'll see everybody later. And yes, someday I will get that tree taken down. I really need to get it taken down. Ugh. Got so much to do. <sighs> but, uh, uh, I guess I will just go out and let you, for our go out, let you look at my little window garden here. Christmas cactus is getting ready to bloom. I got these little sorted sunflowers. I don't even know what kind of sunflowers. Got them at Dollar Tree. That's a pot of basil. And I'm not sure what the purple, I think that's purple coneflower, and I believe those are Shasta daisies. And that is the gigantic owl plant that my daughter gifted me when it was teeny tiny little tiny plant in that pot. And that's a pot one of my grandkids made. They painted it pink and put a purple ribbon around it, and my daughter stuck a little tiny bit of aloe little tiny aloe plant in and it's now a jumbo aloe plant so there's my little kitchen garden and I will yeah got my little fairy garden there going and I will um, see y'all on the next video bye bye <laughs>